Hey foodies, red sauce pasta is one of the most loved Italian dishes in India because of its spiciness and tanginess and after researching and making a lot of pastas, I'm sharing this perfect red sauce spaghetti pasta at home with all the detailed tips and tricks. So let's begin. Let's start by boiling the pasta for which here I've taken enough water for boiling. Once it starts to bubble, add in a good amount of salt to it as this is the only chance to flavor up your pasta from inside. Mix it a bit and drop in the spaghetti pasta. You can push and pat it a bit. Let it boil for about 8 to 9 minutes or until it's 80% cooked or al dente. Just check the timings on the packet instructions also in case you are using any other shaped pastas. Press it slightly to adjust in the pan. It's almost done. I'll break one and show you it still has some resistance. At this stage, switch off the flame and preserve a cup of pasta stock to dilute the pasta later. Drain the pasta to a colander. And pour little more water to stop the carryover cooking. But do not rinse it too much as we need little starch over the pasta for the sauce to coat it nicely. The next step is to make the tomato sauce. For which I'm giving slits over these fully ripe red tomatoes. That's around 4 to 6 tomatoes. The key here is the slow cooking to make the delicious tomato sauce pasta right from scratch using all the fresh ingredients that are easily available. Add this to a pan of boiling water and let it boil over medium high flame for about 4 to 5 minutes or until you see the skin starts to peel. You can see the skin is coming off, it's done enough off the flame and let it rest in the hot water itself just for about 2 more minutes if you are not in a hurry. After that, strain it and pour some water so that it's easy for you to handle. Now remove the skin, transfer into the blender and make a smooth puree. Look at this smooth, luscious tomato puree. That's fresh tomato puree. Keep this aside. Next up, heat a tablespoon of oil or olive oil in a wok. Once it is lukewarm, add in a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic along with 2 teaspoons of red chilli flakes. Cook it for about a minute to infuse all the flavours well. Then goes in one onion finely chopped. Cook it until they become tender and translucent. Cook on low flame only for the best taste. Do not turn them very dark. At this stage, I'm also going to add some capsicums and carrots. Cook them as well just for a minute. And guys, these vegetables are completely optional or if you want, you can also use a variety of vegetables here along with small pieces of chicken if you are a non-vegetarian. At this stage, add in the freshly made tomato puree. Mix, mix. Then goes in half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of red chili powder for that good color and taste, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, one teaspoon of mixed herb seasoning or oregano, whichever you have, along with a teaspoon of basil. You can use the fresh or dry, whichever you have. Mix everything really well and bring it to a brisk boil for about 3 minutes. And then I'm going to cover it with a lid and let it cook further for about 5 to 6 minutes over low medium flame, allowing all the flavors to gel with each other and reduce a bit. Let's remove the lid and check. It looks so good. It has reduced a bit. You can see some oil floating on top, which means it's cooked well. At this stage, we'll add in the pre-boiled pasta. Top it 
toss it for about 1 to 2 minutes or until the pasta is well coated with the flavorful and tangy sauce all over. You can continue cooking it, you can use a tong for tossing. And here I'm also adding the reserved pasta water. along with little bit of sugar you can also add some ketchup but it's completely optional so again toss toss I cooked it for almost three minutes now on high flame this pasta is well coated with the base now at this stage you have an option of adding either some fresh cream or some fresh cheese if you wish to to make it more creamy and again toss oh my god it looks so tempting look at the texture look at the color and the juiciness serve it hot hot using a tongue just like the way it's served in restaurants and then you can garnish it with some herbs cheese or basil on top if you wish to you can serve this with some garlic bread and wine on the side just like the way I like it. And if you really enjoyed watching this video, then do like the video and let me know your thoughts on this. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to watch more such videos like these. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. See you all with a brand new one. Bye-bye.